Well, hello everybody. It's January 29th, 2023 in Big Bear Lake, California. Thank you guys for being on the live feed earlier. That was freaking awesome. You guys are great, man. That was a lot of fun. We're going to do another one tomorrow for you guys. Wife's going to be with me so she can read all the comments so I don't miss one freaking comment. That's what I look forward to the most. And hey guys, please do me a big favor. If, if you like what I'm doing, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I'm making new videos. Um, for all of you who love to stay up to date with the snow and the weather in Big Bear, that's what I do. That is what I do, and I'm going to be start. I'm going to start doing more interviews with business owners and stuff like that, and just doing some different stuff up here. We are going to take a helicopter tour, and one of our friends, Tinker, on the channel, is trying to help me out to get the sound part of it good because on the helicopter it's going to be rough for sound. So, what's up? I am. All the time. Well, thanks, bro. I appreciate it. You're on. You're on right now. Right on. Big Bear Take care, man. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, that is so cool, guys. That is, guys. That is so cool. That is someone who actually likes what we do. He says he watches all the time. That is freaking awesome. That that makes me feel really good. So yeah. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Everywhere I go up here, guys, it's like that. Everywhere I go, it's the coolest thing. I never thought I'd get this kind of. Uh, notoriety so anyway yeah uh, what was I saying uh, before I before my fame was uh, noticed <laughs> I'm just kidding guys I'm not famous I'm infamous um, yeah so what was I uh, uh, I totally forgot that really caught me off guard that really caught me off guard but that uh, my gosh anyway anyway Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. It really does help me out. Um, I don't know exactly how that does help out in the long run, but um, it does, you know? So if, if everyone else does it and it helps them, I, you know, I'm gonna take their lead for other successful YouTube channels, which is basically every channel I've ever watched tells you to like and subscribe. So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna start, start doing every video now, guys. And for eight years, I never did it once. I never saw another YouTube channel like this one that would never ask. So I like that. Anyway, back to the video. Thank you guys again for liking and loving me. I, I, I appreciate it. I really do. I love doing this for you guys. So right now it is currently 28 degrees, 8, 10 p.m. And uh, we are, that is heading to one of my, to a restaurant that I enjoy. We are not going to go to that restaurant. Every time I hop in this car, it's got a different GPS location already. Like, trying to guess where I'm going, and half the time it's right. Like, I can't believe it. It's really a smart vehicle. Um, yeah, so it's 28 degrees, 8, 10 p.m. We're going to get another video done right now. Um, if the snow starts to really pick up tonight, then, of course, I'll be back out doing another video overnight. Um, but tomorrow's supposed to be our big day. But it's going to be really cold, guys. This storm is all snow. It's going to make it's it's going to continue being all snow. Um, so I'm definitely, definitely, definitely looking forward to it. We do have chain requirements on Highway 18 on the front through uh, Running Springs in that area. So guys, please, please do me a favor. And uh, oh my gosh, our friend told us uh, Mountain. Oh my gosh, she told us the uh, the Facebook page or whatever it is so you guys can get all the chain info. But once again, I forgot it. So what you guys need to do is uh, call 800 Caltrans right before you come up. It's a really short phone call, it's worth it. It'll help you out big time. It'll give you all the information you need. And uh, yeah, 800 Caltrans. Just type in the highway number you choose to cruise on and it'll give you the most up-to-date info possible. We are actually, um, let's see here. Let's see here. Um, hang on a second. I'm trying to look at my weather app while we're stopped here real quickly. Just to see what information I can give when it's supposed to really start to pick up. But all I'm trying to say is that tonight, when it does pick up overnight, if it's significant, like really super heavy i will come back out overnight i don't care if it's two three four in the morning as soon as it starts getting really really heavy again we're gonna be out there 
and uh, tomorrow is going to be a, another snowy day. We're, as I said, we're going to do a live feed tomorrow for you guys. And uh, thank you guys for all the comments and all, all the questions. If I can't answer one of your questions, guys, I promise you, I will not just answer it pretending like I know the answer. I, I will never do that to you guys. It might take me a little bit of time to find it out for you, but if I'm not responding in a timely fashion, just try to Google it sometimes. Or maybe some of you other guys could, could help out and answer some of these questions for, for me. Like like Dan, Dan Payan does that a lot for me. A lot of you guys actually help answer other people's questions on here. Uh, before I can even get to you so that like that makes me feel really good that that you guys are helping each other out like that But yeah guys, let's blow this channel up. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here's the bowling barn I love bowling, but I've only bowled twice in eight years since I've lived here My wife and I need to start doing that Join a bowling league So we're gonna take the back route like just there's no one on the boulevard right now, so we're just going to take some of the back streets to get to Big Bear Boulevard, um, and basically we're going to uh, drive around the lake right now. I want you guys to see what it's like over in the snowiest part of town. And then we're not going to go all the way to Baldwin tonight. We'll do that drive tomorrow for sure, and then the aftermath will go through there as well. And for those of you who watch the live feed, you'll be happy. I filled up my gas tank. Yeah, yeah. I almost ran out of gas, guys. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. But yeah, so right now we're on Lakeview Drive, guys. This is a way to bypass Big Bear Boulevard um, when you're coming from the, the Big Bear Dam. But it, it only goes so far as to Edgemore. That is the uh, the fastest, uh, or just that's as far as you can go when it comes to this little side uh, side route. So let's see here. This guy passed us because he's going really, really, really fast. Just so we don't have to worry. That's like me driving on these roads. Wow, that wow, I'm really proud of that guy, man. Hang on, guys. Sorry about that. Just letting that guy pass, it started snowing more from his dust. That's how fast he was going. He created some more snow. Do, 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 do. We're just gonna drive slow right here. Let's see what we got going on up here. All these houses are usually lakefront property, but because the lake has receded so much, it's uh, you got to walk out quite a bit. But all these houses are lakefront property. I got a buddy who lives right here. He's usually outside. Let me see. He's, he's, there's no way he's going to be outside right now, but we'll see. No way. There he is. Ah, <laughs> dude, dude, what are you doing out here, man? I was just telling them I see you out here sometimes when you're visiting. What's going on, Mike? All uh, right. How you doing, brother, man? Good, good, dude. Good, good. What's guys, going on with you? That's Mike right there, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Great to see you, man. Support Great. Support the movement. <laughs> dude. Great to see you, man. How you doing? Good, man. Good, good, good. Um, nice out here. Fresh dude, here. Dude, you got to let me know when you're coming up here just so I can, you know, come see you, shake your hand. It's nice seeing you out here like this, but surprising. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing out here? Fresh air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just good. getting dumb dinner. Yeah, 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 good. Well, bro, great to see you, man. Um, as I said, please hit me up in the future when you're here. Will do. Guys, once again, this is Mike. He, he is one of the nicest guys mm. that I know. He's actually part of this YouTube channel, guys. So Mike, I met him through this channel. And he's just another one of the beautiful people that I've met here with a, with, a, with with an absolutely beautiful heart. And uh, super, wow, dude, super blessed to see you, man. Um, Shock. 
<laughs> yeah, totally, dude. I'm glad you pulled up, though. Yeah, man, no worries. I was I was telling them that usually I have a friend who lives right here. He's not going to be outside right now, but there he was. <laughs> right on, dude. Um, All right. Do your thing. All right, dude. All right. You know what, guys? Hang on a second. Hang on. Dude, hang on a sec. All right, guys, sorry. I had to pull out of the way uh, of this person, but Mike just, just told me something cool. What's going on? Tomorrow's your birthday? Yes, sir. And 46. 46, man. God. Blessing. Guys, this is a gentle giant, a really, 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 really good human being. It's great to see you, bro. It's great to see you. Please say hi to your family. I hope your health stuff's going well. Um, I'm doing better. Yeah, good, good. Sound better. You know what, dude? You look great. I appreciate it. Of course, man. Of course. Tell the missus I said hello. Back at you. Have a good night. Do your thing. Thank you, man. All right, buddy. Get that fresh air. Don't freeze, though, bro. Oh, man. I got sandals on. <laughs> Shorts. Guys, gentle giant. Look at this guy, man. He's freaking huge. The one people wear sandals in the snow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, brother, man. Good to see you, All dude. Right. All right, man. Later. Later. Wow, guys. Guys, <laughs> I did not expect to see him again. I did not expect to see him. He comes up here all the time, so I, I figured maybe he might be up here because it's a snowstorm. He loves the snow. But yeah, guys, anyway. Yeah. So Mike recently um, had some some medical issues going on. And he, oh my gosh, like I, I have a lot of respect and, and, and admiration for him. He's, he's a wonderful person. He's a wonderful hearted person. Um, I don't know if he'd be okay with me talking about it, so I'm not going to, but just for for those of you, which is all of you who are so freaking loving, just keep him in your thoughts, please, because he is, he is he's a beautiful human being, a beautiful soul. Um, yeah, I'm glad to have guys like that in my life. He's just like you guys. I'm glad to have people like you in my life. My life is awesome because of you guys. But anyway, glad you guys got to meet someone else from the channel. That is super cool. As I said, he's from, he's he's one of you guys. Um, a while back, I met him at, at Jersey Mike's and um, I couldn't stay to eat, but we got a sandwich um, to go. And uh, the dude is just super, super loving, super cool. He's just like all of you. That, that's how all of you are. But anyway, wow, what a blessing. Anyhow, let's get back to the drive, y'all. So we're on Lakeview Drive still. We're coming up to Edgemore. And as I said, Edgemore is the furthest kind of shortcut you can take to avoid a lot of the traffic. But guys, believe it or not, most of the traffic that comes into town, it starts backing up right at about this street, Edgemore, down here on Big Bear Boulevard. So let's, let's go check it out. And we're driving into the snowiest part of town now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I need to call him really quickly. Yeah, man. I love people who persevere like that, who fight, who fight and fight and fight. Man, that guy is just... That's that's just you guys right there. That's you guys right there. I'm gonna give him a call. Just be like, dude, thank you again, man. That was so cool to see you. Hi. Hey. Hey, Mike. We're still recording right now. I just. I just wanted to just let you know, man, really good to see you, bro. Um, as I said, next time you're up here, even though I always see you there, please, please let me know when you're up here so so we can get together, okay, brother? Most definitely. I got you. Don't worry about it. All right, man. Um, you're an absolute blessing in my life, dude. Thank you again for everything. Um, I hope you and your wife have a tremendous rest of your stay here. And... Uh, yeah, man, just stay safe out there. And if you have any questions about anything, let me know. I'm always here to help. You know that. I got you. I appreciate it. Much love, ha man. Happy birthday, brother. I appreciate it. You got it, man. I'll talk to you later. All right. Have a good night. You too, sir. All right. Bye. Guys, what an amazing guy. Okay, so this is Big Bear Boulevard, but what an amazing guy. 
Like that's what I get with you guys. That can you guys understand why I love this channel so much? I really did not think I would have bet a hundred bucks if I had a hundred bucks to bet that he there's there's no way he would be there and even more so outside. But yeah, due to what he he, he had happened, like uh, yeah, I, I can understand why he's always outside getting getting fresh air and cooling down. What a what an amazing man, beautiful heart, guys. Mike is the man. So, we're back on Big Bear Boulevard. I doubt we'll see any cars coming the other direction until we get to the dam. It could be a perfect drive like that, we'll see. And the more, the further we go this direction, the more snow we shall run into. Look at this, guys, nobody out here. And it's only 8.30, it's 27 degrees. Um, as I said, the further we go this direction, the more snow we are gonna run into. I got a good friend from the channel over here. His name is Gilad. He's from Jeru he's from Israel, and he was like a sergeant for the Israeli army, the Israeli military. He's a young guy. He's like 23 years old or something like that. 24 years old. The dude is just awesome. He's a fan as well. Just super cool. Um, he's here visiting for a couple months just to do snowboarding. Anyway, I wanted to let you guys know exactly how much snow my weather app is telling. Oh, here's a car that my weather app is telling me we're, we're going to get. Okay, so we can turn on the bites again. So in the next 48 hours, ooh, see that's that's not good. It shows only four inches. It shows only four inches. But right now. We got some heavy stuff coming in, which is why I took this drive. Hang on, just bear with me, guys. So we're going through, it's, it's, we're gonna hit some, some good snow on this part of the drive, so I'm excited about that. And uh, yeah, hopefully it does dump while we're driving. As I always tell you guys, once again, I won't mention it again for a while, but the most snow, if, if you want to be around the most snow in this town, in the valley part, then you want to go over this direction. And uh, the, the further you go towards the Big Bear Dam and find a place to rent, the more snow you will get. It's like clockwork, guys. It's every single storm. So we are entering the snowiest part of the valley now. It's a huge difference compared to everywhere else. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so awesome to see that guy. <laughs> no, I can't believe I saw him. But guys, thank you again for everything. Thank you for being on the live feed earlier. That was, that was remarkable. We had a lot of viewers watching live. That was super cool. As I said, I'm gonna do another one tomorrow for you guys. Um, and the wife's going to be with me so she can help me do some reading so I don't, so I can just uh, focus on, on the driving as much as possible. So the sign right here says chains required, you guys. Four wheel drive with snow tires, okay. So basically my car would be okay. But even if you have all terrain or all season or winter tires, it'll, they'll still make you put on uh, snow chains. And then I've heard of these things called like snow socks or like tire socks or something like that. You guys should look into it. I think it's a fairly new product that uh, is easier to put on than chains. And a lot of them are made out of Kevlar, I guess. And it's just, a, it's a very strong material that you, you, you put on your, your tires like a sock. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous out here. I wish we could have our brights on, but we have cars in front of us, so we can't do that. As you can see, the snow is definitely picking up over here. Yeah, I'm like almost speechless because we saw that guy. Almost speechless. I can't even think about 
what I was going to be talking about. But in these videos, I never know what I'm going to be talking about. I just run my mouth the whole time. Those of you, there's a lot of you who told me you're going to try and come up tomorrow. Guys, it's going to be a rough go. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a rough go about it tomorrow. Um, but if it's only going to be four inches total in this area, it might not be as bad. But keep in mind, the storms hit the the, the running springs and crest line side of the mountain range first. And typically, you know, when it's cold like this, they'll get more snow than we get. So just keep that in mind. Even if these videos aren't showing you that much snow here, there could be a lot more on your drive up. So be very vigilant of that. I don't want you guys to freak yourselves out. I just want you guys to be safe. So once again, call 800 Caltrans. Um, gosh, I can't remember what that that darn website called. It's called like Mountain Something. Um, I'm so embarrassed that I, that I don't know it. But it would help you guys to get the information you need without having to call that phone number. But it's a quick phone call. 1-800 Caltrans. Make sure you bring your tire chains with you guys. Bring food and water to last you a few days for the car. Make sure you have a bunch of warm clothing, blankets, and please fill up your gas tank at the bottom of the mountain. That is so important, you guys. Fill up your gas tank at the bottom of the mountain. Not halfway here from where you're coming from, but find a gas station as close to the bottom of the mountain as you can, just so you have as much gas as possible while you're driving up. Because if you do get stranded, you're gonna wanna have heat for a long time. And uh, yeah, I forgot to put my rain -X on when we had that dry weather, I feel like an idiot. Hear the windshield wipers just going crazy. Okay, so we're at the Big Bear Dam now, you guys, and we are going to turn right to head into Fawnskin. Look at how peaceful this is over here. I'm gonna shut up for a minute. So once you pass this stoplight, you guys, you are headed into the little Arctic Circle, heading out of Big Bear, heading out of the valley. But this is technically the snowiest part of town. All right, let's do this. Maybe we get a little loose right here. Oh man, these snow tires just aren't letting me get crazy, guys. What's up with that? So one thing that I'm almost willing to bet on is that we're this route we're probably not going to see one car. And wouldn't that be something special? What I might try to do is just shut up for five minutes. It's 8:31. I'll shut up till 8:36. Okay, guys. But or 8:37. So what, but just real quick, what we're doing though is we are on Highway 38 right now, heading into Fawn Skin. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. We're, it's just going to be a peaceful drive without me talking for a few minutes. If I can man manage. Here we go. Let's do it. Real quick, if we fall over the edge, we're gonna go right into the lake. That's how close we are to the lake. I'm shutting up.
Okay, we're in fawn skin. Do not go faster than the speed limit here, guys. Or anywhere, but especially here. It's 25 miles an hour. It's still snowing, but I turned off my defrosters, so um, I don't have to use my windshield wipers because it's cold enough where it's not getting the windshield wet, so that's good. But it still is snowing. It's not coming down too hard right now, but it, there's, there's still some flurries out there. Oh, it's so pretty out here. It's such a pretty drive. I've only done it a thousand times. But yeah, you guys, if you really do like what I'm doing, please like this video and subscribe. I would appreciate it. I would very much appreciate it. I can't wait to read some of the comments like, oh my gosh, it was so peaceful without you talking. <laughs> we might do that for another five minutes. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? We'll just enjoy this, this drive. Just a peaceful little drive without me running my mouth the whole time. It's hard for me, guys. It really is. But let's start now. There's Snow Summit. We'll right after we look at Snow Summit. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, let me roll down the window. Here's a car, I can't believe it. across the lake, Snow Summit, guys. It's beautiful.
It's just unreal, guys. Look at that with the clouds hanging right above it. That is just so cool. no one anywhere near us behind us so I'm gonna pull over and take a little picture and maybe use it for the thumbnail of Snow Summit right there that's gorgeous I gotta find a good spot though we don't have any trees blocking us Remarkable. Remarkable. <laughs> That's across the lake, guys. So we're almost to the end of our drive for this this drive, but yeah, it's so quiet up here right now, you guys. I mean this wow. Those of you who do make it up here tomorrow, I think you're I think you're gonna be in for a treat. It's gonna be good snow. It's gonna be drier than usual. So you guys are gonna like that more for the skiing and snowboarding. And also there's not gonna be that many people up here. Because it is a weekday. And uh, that's what I said after the holidays, you guys, if we get the, the snowstorms during the week, if you can take time to get up here, that's that's when you wanna come up here. I'm telling you guys, that's when the best time to come up here is during the storms that come during the week. I can't wait to see the view from uh, from Big Bear Boulevard when we pull around that, that left corner. We're on Stanfield Cutoff right now. Here's the lake to the right. Hold on the window so you guys can actually see it. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Holy moly, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I need to go to Stater Brothers, so that's where we're going to end the video. We're on Big Bear Boulevard, right? Or turning right onto Big Bear Boulevard from Stanfield Cutoff. We got some cars coming this way. Oh, that's a lot of cars. I mean, not a lot, but more than I anticipated. So one of my favorite views of Snow Summit is coming right around this corner, but I think we're gonna, before we go to Staters, take one more little turn to get one of my, even a better view. Okay, so watch this, guys. Watch when we come around this corner. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. To the left and bada bing, bada boom. Oh, it's just epic! Just epic. All right, so we're gonna turn right here to get that view, but even better. Hang on a second. This is called Sandalwood. Here's Vaughn's and some of these other stores over here. So this is the back way into the parking lot. But here we go. This is uh, once we make this little left turn, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a really really pretty view of Snow Summit. That really is 
is gorgeous. Let's just zoom in real quickly. Oh yeah. Zoom out, see those clouds right there? Oh man. Oh geez, it's so pretty. Hey you guys, seriously, thank you guys for cruising with me. Thank you guys for taking this journey with me. I had a lot of fun on that live video today and I'm I'm looking forward to, to doing more of those. I don't know why I haven't done a lot of those, but I'm looking forward to doing more of them with you guys and sharing this beautiful place with all of you. Thank you again for everything. Um, the comments really are so important to me. They, they, they mean a lot. Leave comments too, instead of just like and subscribe, but please like, subscribe, leave some comments. I, I respond to everybody and it's not like I copy and paste. I actually give you guys personal responses because I do care a lot about you guys. So anyway, we are going to end this video. We are on Fox Farm Road now. This is Fox Farm Road. And yeah, we are golden. I love you guys with all my heart. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. And as I said, if it starts to really dump in the next few hours, I will go back out and do another video. Otherwise, it'll be first thing in the morning. I love you guys. Peace out. It's January 29th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. And we are back on Big Bear Boulevard now. Heading to State or Hater. Let's do this. Peace out, guys.